Well, hi there. Hi, How are you Gary. Doing? I hear you got a new house. Yeah. Thanks to you, it's gorgeous. This Veterans Day, I want you to know, this is a big celebration of you, and it's a gift from thousands and thousands and thousands of your fellow citizens who do not forget what you've been through. I want to thank you all for coming out here today on this Veterans Day to celebrate this special day with Jason and Courtney. We're out in Bernie, Texas, and this is our 75th home that Gary and the Foundation have been able to provide to veterans and first responders. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's beautiful. This is an absolute life-changing, game-changing home. It's going to allow us to be a married couple. These life-changing homes are a cornerstone of our outreach and a pillar of gratitude we're able to show our nation's most severely injured heroes. Oh, look at that. Congratulations. This is so cute. Look at all the little kids that are sending you messages. Jason was a flight engineer for a Chinook helicopter. During a routine check on the helicopter, he was injured. And as a result of that, he is now paralyzed from the chest down. Let's go check this out. Jason was limited to three areas in his home, basically, and here he's got complete access to everywhere. I don't have any carpets in this home that are going to impede me rolling around in my chair. So accessibility to every space of this house is fundamental to my everyday life. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Look at how much room you have. No more carpet. I have room. You can get around our room. Yeah. I feel like this is Christmas Day and we're adults and Gary Sinise is Santa. <laughs> You're gonna really like this. <laughs> wow. Look at all this room. Mm -hmm. It's just it just changes everything. Jason has a fear as he gets older, it gets tougher to get in and out of bed. So we installed a chairlift that will actually station in the closet, come out, pick him up out of bed, and place him into his chair. Right now he's strong, but you know, 10, 15 years from now, he may not be able to do that. I can do the dishes. Oh, yay. <laughs> this is so cool, I can actually get under a sink. I love the kitchen. Yeah, I like the kitchen too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look at it, you'll be able to do the cooking too. Yeah, Taco Tuesday is back on. So just creating a, a situation where he can utilize everything in the kitchen, the oven, the sink, the stove. Being able to cook on a stove that I can roll under, being able to wash dishes uh, in a sink that I can roll under is, is just life changing. I'm so excited for you to cook again. Me too. You know, obviously Jason's confined to his chair. He gets in bed at night, he's not gonna wanna get back in his chair. Having an iPad or a phone where he can basically operate this entire home. I won't have to bother you to open and close the shades anymore. That's true. I think it's going to be a joy for both of them, and I think Courtney's going to, going to benefit just as much as Jason. It's humbling to see you know, the impact that this foundation has on our veteran community, and we want to continue our support and even strengthen it in any way that we can. Those national partners of ours that step up, they're just so crucial to the success of the RISE program. They really help us lower that cost of these homes so that we can have a broader impact. We have a lot of resources, we have a lot of employees that, that want to give back. We really need organizations like the Gary Sinise Foundation to really do the, the work with the boots on the ground. So we appreciate the work and we look forward to furthering that partnership as, as we move forward. The national partners are a huge part of what we do, but the local community is the glue. It starts with the builder. The builder's got to have great relationships within the community. They've got to be able to have the subs that are willing to support our mission. Jason and Courtney, there are a handful of very special moments in everybody's life. And uh, I sincerely hope and pray that uh, you receiving this home on this day, built by all of these people and funded by the Gary Sinise Foundation, is one that you will cherish for the rest of your lives. I think anytime somebody knows what we're doing, they always seem to stand up and raise their hand and say, we want to be a part of this. On behalf of the Home Depot Foundation, we wanted to say, welcome to your new home. There couldn't be a better day than Veterans Day to do a home dedication. I am glad to be part of this very special welcome home ceremony. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. We not only hope that you and your family enjoy this custom smart home that was made for you, but also thrive as you begin to enjoy and move into this next chapter of your life. Welcome to your new home. Our Bravis family thanks you for your service and your sacrifice. 
thank you for your service and welcome home. Thank you. This is a specially adapted smart home. So instead of um, handing over the keys, we want to present you uh, with the iPad to your new home. Now give me the keys. <laughs> 75 homes. It's a big milestone for the Gary Sneeze Foundation's RISE program. 75 lives impacted. Gary, I know that your, your most famous role was playing Lieutenant Dan, but I want to say that in my book, you don't have to be an officer to earn the salute from every single service member that you have been able to help. Thank you, Gary, for everything that you do, not just for us, but for everybody. May God bless you and provide abundantly so that you can help so many more people.